24 hours ago, I carved open a honeydew and took out the seeds. I washed them and dried them and put them on tissues in this glass bowl. And I'm trying to germinate them within the 3 to 10 days that I've read online that they can grow in. It's day 2. And I saw that some of the tissues were starting to grow mold, so I discarded those and shook off the seeds. There's 50 seeds and I just sprayed some water in the dish hoping they would absorb as much water as possible I don't think they were doing that on the tissues the tissues mostly were and I think some of these seeds are absorbing water they're a little swollen but uh, I can't tell whether they're going to germinate or not it's been three and a half days and I'm already starting to see some germination going on this particular seed has a very weird shape to it. It looks like it was two seeds uh, welded together. As you can see, most of them still look inert, but I have a good feeling about this. I think most of them are about to start germinating too. They do it at the sharp tip of the seed. If you look closely at this seed in the center, it's starting to germinate. Um, at the sharp tip and you can see where the the shell of the seed is starting to split apart and here's another seed that's starting to germinate alright it's been four days since I started soaking these seeds in water to germinate them and as you can see compared to day three and a half there is a little bit more progress but uh... I'll zoom in later so you can get a better look. So this seed is the first one to germinate and uh, as you can see there are two structures coming out of it. I believe the longer one was the first one to come out, the root apical meristem. And the second one that's coming out of the top of the seed the, at the pointy sharp end is the probably the shoot apical meristem which will turn into the above ground structures so most of the examples you see online of germination uh, those are about bean stalks from uh, you know how beans germinate but this is a honeydew seed so it seems to be a little different it's not just one shoot coming out and you know cotyledon with uh, two leaves coming out uh, of the seed and just the root burrowing underground uh, this seems to have you know kind of a differentiated uh, root and shoot system coming out of the seed so uh, this one so far only seems to have the root coming out of the seed so as you can see, most of these seeds are on their way to germinating. You can see a little hint of green, you know, in the previous two clips of the shoot and root apical meristems. Uh, you know, that's why I'm shining this LED light on them all day is to get a head start on the photosynthesis to create that green color in the plant cells. But these seeds are a little slower to develop. Um, it could be that you know they just weren't in as good of a position in day one and day two when I put all these seeds on tissues you know some parts were probably wetter than others uh, particularly the seeds that were more towards the bottom they would have uh, had a chance to absorb more water so if you look at the pointy end of all five of these seeds I think you can see a tiny hint of green of something coming out so the root apical meristem uh, the root systems will be coming out soon and basically I'm gonna look for some soil and 
start planting these and let them have places for the roots to go into and uh, grow like normal plants. Okay, it's day five and the seeds have grown a little bit more, those that have germinated of course. Um, and as I'll zoom in later and show you, there are some seeds that are uh, germinating and you can see the exact process by which they do it. So, so far we have these two main seeds that are growing uh, uh, root systems. And the rest seem to have not really budged when you look at a glance, but um, some of them are starting to sprout too. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. For these two seeds in the center of the screen, you can see that small holes have started to develop in the on one of the sides of the pointy tip of the seed, the seed husk. So I'm expecting uh, a root, apical meristem, to come out of there soon. So here you can see two more examples of seeds that are uh, doing the exact same thing. You know, they're making these little holes, and I'm not sure how exactly that process works. Uh, perhaps there are lyophilized enzymes in there that are waiting to break down the seed husk at that exact spot or maybe that's just a weak spot in the seed husk. So this is the seed I've been talking about before. Um, let me rotate this a little bit. Uh, basically it looks like two seeds were fused together and you know uh, in day four and day three I thought that maybe the smaller one coming out the shorter one is the shoot system or the shoot apical meristem is at the tip of that but actually what I think this is is it's uh, you know it's a mutant it's actually two seeds fused together I don't know what the official terminology is um, I'm actually going into this whole germination experiment blind I um, consciously avoided looking up all um, you know germination planting knowledge on honeydew seeds just to see um, you know what the whole experience is like and it's actually pretty fun going blind into this and making these observations so I think those are actually two root systems um, coming from two seeds inside so I expect two plants to come out of this later so the reason I was expecting two plants to come out of that is um, you know I see this other seed that looks just like any other normal seed and you know it looks pretty normal it, there's only one um, root coming out of it so to speak so I don't know it looks like if you look at that split in the seed husk um, there could be another shoot coming out of that so I'll reserve my judgment until then and we'll just see what happens over the next few days so I bought some soil from the store and I'm planning to uh, put all these seeds on the soil and of course I'll sterilize it first um, just to make sure no fungi or bugs come out of that and that'll give these roots somewhere to go down and they're going to go down because uh, they go in the direction of gravity while the rest of these seeds should peel apart and if it's anything like bean development you know uh, pair of leaves should come out of the seed. So I just poured these seeds uh, from the glass bowl into a strainer and rinsed them well and the next step I'm going to do is put some soil in the glass bowl and start to sterilize it. So what I've done is I've put some soil I bought from the store in this glass bowl and it looks pretty nice. Um, it's you know moist and I'm gonna preheat the oven as I'm already doing uh, to 300 Fahrenheit and I'm gonna let the soil bake for a while just to kill any mold or pathogens or uh, potential insect eggs or whatever else is in there because uh, one time I had a really bad experience and with a bag of soil I bought from a store you know I put it under my kitchen sink and my apartment was just infested with these little flies that were bugging you know they were just flying around my face all day so I want to avoid a repeat like that and you know there's nothing else I hate more than uh, having mold growing 
whenever I water indoor plants. So I'm going to put this in the oven for, I don't know, maybe half an hour.